Mutual induction is a phenomena in electromagnetic induction. In mutual inductance, there are two coils. One coil is carrying current, this. And there is another coil placed here in the neighborhood. There are two coils. We will give current to one coil only. And this is a variable current. Okay? When there is on off of this current, when the current is changing, we find that a current start flowing in it. So, this phenomena that current flowing in it proves that there is certain change of flux in this coil because change of flux produce EMF and that EMF produce electric current. So there has been a change of flux here. Now who is the magnetizing agency here which is changing the flux? Answer this is the magnetizing agency. When we start current in this, current makes magnetic field, magnetic field links with this and there is a flux that magnetic field is like this now it is the magnetic field producing coil and that magnetic field getting linked to this coil as well because of its proximity because it is very close to it now when a magnetic field connects with area of the coil that creates flux. So flux is created. Now there are changes in the current because there are changes in the current there will be changes in the magnetic field. Changes in the current, changes in the magnetic field, change in the magnetic field, change in the flux and if there is a change in the flux then an EMF is induced across it and this EMF when circuit is closed current flows in it. This phenomena is known as mutual induction. Mutual means between the two coils. So we will write what is mutual inductance and then we will make out uh, its derivations. How strong they are connected for mutual conductance. Is there any physical quantity which tells us that if we are flowing current here, how much will be the current here? Answer is yes, we can always make it. Suppose here we are flowing current I, current in coil 1 is I. Flux linked to coil 2 is phi. Current in coil 1 flux linked to coil 2 is phi 2. Then this phi flux produced in coil number 2 due to coil number 1. We write it phi 2 1. This is proportionate to current flowing in coil number 1. So this is proportionate. Now if you make it equal then flux to 1 is equal to a constant and current in the coil number 1. This equation tells us that flux will be more in coil number 2 when current is more in coil number 1. And who decides how much will be the current? This factor this m which is a constant for this pair where m is this is coefficient of mutual induction right how much it is m is equal to flux in coil number 2 divided by current in coil number 1 now if we want, if we want, we can give it numbering also that is mutual induction of coil number 2 with respect to coil number 1. This indicates 
that current will be in 1 and flux will be attached to coil number 2. This is known as mutual induction coefficient. Okay. Can we find its value? Answer is yes, we can find its value. But first, let us do our pending work. If a simple question, what is mutual induction? Then what do we write? I will write it for you. Mutual inductance is a phenomena in which flux linked to one coil varies according to current changes in other coil in its proximity. This is mutual inductance. This is its mathematical term that phi is proportionate to current. Then this is this depends upon a coefficient of mutual inductance and this coefficient of mutual inductance is how much is the current proportionate, how much is the flux linked. So, this is introduction of mutual inductance and now we can find out that this which is affecting the flux, whether flux is more or less, how we can find it out and how it affects if there are changes in the current if there are changes in the current, there will be changes in the flux. And if there are changes in the flux, if there are changes in the flux, then according to Faraday's law, there will be an EMF induced in it. How can we find that EMF? Okay, we have the formula due to variation of I, variation of current. This is what happens in this. So, for this the equation is E induced is equal to minus d phi by dt. Now, E induced is minus d phi by dt and for that we can put E is equal to minus d phi by dt and for this phi we can very well place this m i 1. So, this is E is equal to m is a constant d i by dt. So, emf induced in the second coil EMF in the second coil is equal to minus M21 DI by DT. So, here DI by DT denotes rate of change of current, EMF is EMF induced in the second current and with help of this we can define mutual induction. Now, for defining mutual induction we have two expression, one is this here m is equal to phi to 1 upon i 1. Here m is equal to e upon d i by d t. Forget this i, this indicates the direction of e will be such which will oppose the change in current. That is why there is minus, that is its significance. But for calculation, m is equal to e di by dt. So, these are the two and according to these two, we can make definition of m mutual induction, coefficient of mutual induction. Okay. The first definition of coefficient of mutual induction, okay. this is phi is equal to m i 1. If i 1 is equal to 1, then phi 2 is numerically equal to m. So, this is the definition of mutual induction. The flux linked to second coil is numerically equal to coefficient of mutual induction if current in one coil is 1 ampere, 1 unit. So, this is one definition. The second definition based on this will be this was first definition. Now, we go for second definition. The second definition for coefficient of mutual induction that will be according to this. If d i by d t is equal to 1 ampere per second, 
1 ampere per second then then you will see here m is numerically equal to e so emf or the voltage which is observed here in coil number 2 will be the amount of mutual induction between the two what we are doing we are making changes in the current in which rate 1 ampere per second increasing it or 1 ampere per second decreasing it we are finding that here certain emf appear if that um, emf is 12 volt we say the mutual induction between them is 12 henry if it is 100 volt we say the mutual induction is 100 henry okay now we will write the text that how we will write it as definition of coefficient of mutual induction so the definition of or the calculation of coefficient of mutual induction in a couple of coils two coils if rate of change of current in coil number one is one ampere per second then emf induced in the second coil is numerically its mutual induction simple whatever emf is induced here that is the mutual induction between the two and that we have done according to this relation so we have seen what is the meaning of mutual induction when it is applicable in the couple of uh, coils then what is the definition of it what is the calculation of it what is meaning of coefficient of mutual induction how it affects the emf induced in the second coil when the current changing in the first coil is 1 ampere per second and with this now uh, what is this coefficient of mutual induction for two coils it may be 100 for two coils it may be 2 for two coils it may be 1000 what changes it so the answer is this depends upon the construction just like capacitance which depends upon the geometrical construction of the capacitor its area the distance between them same is the mutual inductance the number of coils the distance between them the orientation of the two coils one is this this one is this this one above the other like this there are so many factors which are changing the coefficient of mutual inductance and that we will see in the next lecture thank you